Practice restrictions. Restricting your ability to enhance your creativity. Go figure, right? Check it out. Hey everybody, I'm Chris G from Positively Progressing and thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about setting limitations in the practice room. Now what I mean by that is when you're practicing your improvisation, you're just not noodling around and playing through tunes and reading them and and getting lost in the changes. We're all guilty of noodling in the practice room and maybe not having the most focused practice sessions. Trust me, I've been there and I even sometimes catch myself there these days now and again. So we wanna to try to limit that and try to keep our practice focused so we get better at what we wanna get better at, which is improvisation or playing through tunes or learning tunes or whatever, whatever your goals may be. I promise that this is gonna help no matter what. In the beginning, I set uh, a limitation on my improvisation of rhythm and I used a one bar rhythm and I went through the blues. It may sound like an easy concept, but this is really difficult to do when you start diving into it. You'll realize really quickly that you have to focus a lot to get through a set of changes using maybe a one bar rhythm and playing that rhythm consistently. Stick with it and I promise that this is going to affect your playing tremendously for the better. So you may ask yourself or ask me, why, why do this? What is this? What is this for? Setting limitations can really spark more creativity and lead you down a different path you may not have gone down without this, this exercise. So another thing this does is it helps motivic development. So you're able to use this to develop a, mo a motive, a motif, motif, motive, whatever, um, in your solo and kind of use it as a jumping off point or like a, a springboard into your solo and into creating other lines. Now I'm not, the message here is not, hey, restrict all your playing, get in the practice room, put yourself in this little box and, and don't have fun. No, that's not what this is at all. If you guys, if any of you guys have seen my previous videos, that's not my message here. My message is use this as a springboard and see where it takes you but, but have, have intention and have conviction on where it takes you. Don't just use it as a springboard and then you just start going off into uh, you know Neverland, playing all and noodling around and getting all crazy. No, use it as, as a springboard, see where it takes your ears and then if that curiosity takes you somewhere, go, go with it. But try staying with a motive for you know three, four, five choruses and really get these rhythms down because you know, you can mix all these one bar rhythms and start coming up with some really cool ideas and it'll really spark your creativity. Explore, have fun. There is a free download of eight one bar rhythms. If you click the link below, you can get, you know, you can write out your own rhythms. I just thought I'd, you know, give you a jumping off point with these eight and just check them out. If you like them, awesome. They're yours for free. And yeah, let me know how you like them. Let me know how this goes. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please tell a friend and have them subscribe. I'm new to this YouTube thing, so I hope this is helping. I hope that you have fun with setting limitations in your practice. And let me know how it goes. Any questions, email me at positivelyprogressing at gmail.com. Thank you again so much. Remember, always positive, always progressing. Take care.